Okay, so I wanted to show you, you know, I display Lego all over my house. So if you go to come to my house, you'll see all kinds of Lego. Right here is kind of a NASA display. And then of course, Adrian likes to build the, uh, the architectural displays and things like that. There's Lady Liberty in Chicago. But I think oftentimes every day I walk through here and I look at that window and I think the sun comes right through here. And that white is not gonna be white very long. And there's gonna be a lot of dust on these displays because there's a vent right over top here. So I wish there were a solution to my problem. And I wish there was a way that I could find whoa, a display case that actually was a quality piece that I would want to display my Lego sets in. That's right, this is kind of a cheesy intro, but I have found a company an over 50 year old company that has now got into the business of developing and engineering display cases for all the Lego models that us A-Falls use. Check out the review coming up next. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I'm here with a review of the Shop Pop Displays, a company that's been around for 50 years developing and designing display cases and heirloom display pieces and things of that nature for other businesses and companies of all different sizes and shapes and now they've engineered cases for Lego models. That's right. All of these Lego models that we have here, all this, hi Llama, uh, all this stuff here that we have and all of these sets that we buy, Shop Pop Displays has come up with display cases for a huge amount of Lego sets. Your Star Wars Lego sets, the Harry Potter display sets, um, all sorts of things, anything that you'd want to display. As a matter of fact, they even have a display case for Ninjago City Gardens. I mean, in that Saturn rocket I just showed you outside, they have a display case for that as well. All types of things. The great thing about Shop Pop Displays is they're a small but mighty company. Um, and so it's all custom type of products. And they provide solutions to all of our needs as AFALs. And one of the great things that I liked about putting this together is that it comes in a very, very simple box. Okay, so when you get this from the company, it is obviously a uh, company here in the USA, and uh, it is shipped, and you'll see it comes in a fragile pack package like this, um, marked fragile, and it's very well um, uh, put together and stuff and sealed. Now, the uh, Apple trackpad doesn't come with it, <laughs> of course. That's just on there because I wanna hide my address. Um, but you can see this particular one is made for the Porsche model um, that came out several years ago by Lego. Uh, and uh, it's a display case for that. Um, kind of not the big one, but the smaller one. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, open it up, show you what it's like, and then we're going to build it and show you how easy these things are to put together and how wonderful they look. Okay, on the inside, it's very nice, and it actually comes with an extra piece of cardboard here, which is nice because if you get kind of sloppy on your tape opening and stuff, um, hopefully you won't uh, puncture through. And then when you open it up, again, it is sealed, and all the panels are sealed. Your hardware is right out. Out there it tells you what a uh, hardware is for um, and uh, then you have uh, your uh, your panels I'm starting to peel back the uh, blue uh, covering and look you can see through it look how clear look how clear it is you can see that Minecraft set back there and it looks like there's not even anything there personally I would recommend standing the panels along the sides in the um, fronts and the backs on the stand keep the film on the stand and then use this as you screw in all of your um, connectors and stuff like that because this way it'll help you hold it steady and it'll also keep some fingerprints off of it as well they also have a line of pre-assembled cases now this is a first in the industry so i would encourage you to check out their website as a matter of fact let's go to their website now and take a look ShoppopDisplays.com, they just launched their Lego line of display cases. Now, some of these cases come with lighting. Some of them come with backgrounds. You can buy stands separately. Uh, you can display just about anything you can think of in Lego. And most importantly, they're a Lego affiliate. They took their time to engineer their cases based on the specifications of the Lego sets. So, I would really encourage you to check them out. Um, they have all sorts of things from big to small and their prices, to be quite honest with you, are really inexpensive. Now, if you're a mock builder, 
they will make a case for any size mock that you have. So I would really encourage you to check out shoppopdisplays.com. Use the code Dr. McBrick for your discount. These displays are really good. The focus is on the Lego set. It's not on the hardware. You see how simple that hardware is? How nice it looks, nice and chrome. It fits together with the acrylic very, very well. Um, they have backgrounds, which I'll show you one here in a minute, but you can see the quality in these cases. You can see the custom cutting of the acrylic. You can see and tell how well they go together. And you know what? After I took off the film, um, the, the blue film that comes on these display cases to keep them nice and pristine and shiny. Uh, it took me maybe five minutes to put together. Um, very, very simple, very, very easy to put together. Um, they have display stands, which come with the various, various showcases, or you can buy them individually for most models. Um, and you can see how it just makes that Porsche 911 just kind of really, really, I mean, first of all, if I go like this, you can't even tell that you're looking through a display case. I have to come back like that before you even see that I'm looking through a display case. The bottom base of it is almost mirror finish. So you could actually place a mirror underneath there um, and to show the bottom of the vehicle or the model, whatever you're doing. But you don't even really have to because the base is very, very well done. Um, and as a matter of fact, the base, the way it's beveled here, you see it's in two different sections and I really like that suggestion there that they have of depth and so what this does and if I can get up real close you can see this is one piece here there's another piece in here and that piece is where the base sticks into that piece on several sets on many sets um, is where you might put a couple Lego studs and you can actually affix the model to the base um, and the base itself is very clever because it has magnets in the back and you just basically slap one panel onto the other and it automatically fits and fits perfectly. Um, this just comes up. All you have to do is lift this case up and your model is right there. So uh, yeah, this is just a really well, again, the focus, look, the focus is not on the hardware or the case. You can barely see that hardware. You can barely see the case. What you do see is your Lego model your Lego mock, your Lego set, your favorite thing that you've built, and you can be very, very creative. You could have a placard right here, you could have a couple mini figs right here, or maybe even build a fig that would fit on this scale, that sort of thing. If you have a building in here, you could have some extra bricks or some other side builds and things like that. You can do all kinds of stuff with their cases. As a matter of fact, they will make cases for you. If you give them the dimensions, they will make it for you, and you can customize the color of the base. Um, and uh, maybe even uh, some printing and stuff like that on the background. So they offer solutions that other companies don't. They're based here in the United States in Woodland Park, New Jersey. I've actually been there. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, pretty decent place. And uh, um, they manufacture and engineer everything here. Before they decided to go into the Lego custom uh, um, display case business, uh, they have had a thriving business for decades and decades doing other stuff in terms of custom display type of work um, in, in cases and things like that. And, but they went to places like BrickCon, they went to lug meetings, talked with lug members, talked with us AFALs all over, all over the country and, and the world and just asked us what we wanted in a case. And this is one of the things that they have come up with and they have come up with many, many more cases. As a matter of fact, um, I think they have 140 cases for Lego sets that they have launched as of June 2nd. And so they are now up and ready as I showed you with the website. Um, and uh, I will be reviewing not only this case, which I've pretty much reviewed, said I like it. There is one thing, one thing that I don't like about their cases. The only fault that I have with this showcase at all. Seriously, the only fault is that this blue film doesn't have some sort of tab on each piece so that you can pull it back and pull it off. Um, I know the way they're produced and the way they're cut and things like that, I would assume, um, and the way that they're covered with this blue film, I would assume that that adds to the cost. However, I do think that having a tab um, will would be really wise even if it's just for small pieces like this. When you talk about the big pieces that we have, see, I can't even, it doesn't even look like I have anything there. But when you talk about the big pieces, 
that's okay, but still having a tab like they have on some screen savers with the film um, would really help because uh, my nails just aren't there. Okay, so it took me about two minutes to swap out the clear back with the printed back. Now, these printed backgrounds use the latest technology. They're full color, high resolution photos. They are digitally UV printed on the acrylic. And then there is a second layer that provides depth. And look, you can just see how great they look. I mean, they really look great. If they had another side panel that had a road on it, this would look like a road. I mean, it would look like it's coming down a road. They could do the panel down here with a road, the side with a road, and the whole thing would look like the Porsche is actually driving down the side of the mountain. So these are really, really cool. I would encourage you to look at the backgrounds. They have many backgrounds that are available for various um, Lego sets. Um, so depending on what kind of fan you are of a particular Star Wars or Harry Potter or, or cars or whatever, that sort of thing, um, they might have a print for you. And again, the depth provided by these UV prints and then that extra layer they put on um, just just is unparalleled in the industry if you ask me. Um, everything I've ever witnessed or encountered or built has just been a cardboard background. It looks crappy. Um, this is not that. This is quality. This is something that I'd want to pass down to my children and say, you know what? This is an heirloom of mine. I love this car. I want you to have a, a facsimile of it, a model of it, right? Um, and I want to keep it in a case that's not going to turn yellow, that's going to last for a long time, that looks very, very classy, doesn't focus on hardware, and is a really great heirloom piece. So, Shop Pop Displays, I would go check them out. For what you get and the fact that they can customize for A-Falls and do anything that, that, that your heart desires. If you want to build a, a mock as an A-Fall, they will customize a display case for you um, and everything like that. So check them out at the link below. Use Dr. McBrick for a discount. Um, a great opportunity, a great launch that this company has had now starting with their display cases for Lego. They've been in the business for over 50 years. They're a U.S.-based company. That means that you get your product quicker if you're a U.S. If you're US based um, in terms of shipping and all that kind of stuff. So check them out. ShopPopDisplays.com. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.